gathered here to celebrate a major milestone for one of the most consequential and largest projects on the backbone corridor of the peninsula and a vital link between the Silicon Valley and San Francisco. We will listen to many leaders and partner agencies and organizations to tell the story of how we all came together in the spirit of cooperations to overcome challenges. I want to appreciate all the planners, the engineers, uh, the people that developed this project to what it is today because I think it's really going to relieve traffic congestion and uh, the part of SB1 with uh, uh, setting aside money for uh, the worst congested quarters in California. Uh, I see this project as uh, 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 the gold standard for the congested quarter program in terms of uh, having a real strong relief to the congestion. While SB1 is doing much of the heavy lifting at the state level, there are also regional and local efforts uh, to fund and complete transportation infrastructure projects, including Regional Measure 3, which the Senator referenced, which contains $50 million for this very Highway 101-92 interchange under which we are standing right now. Much attention will be given to this uh, very area, given the importance of San Mateo County and the job creation that's happening in this area to our overall state's economic vitality. You know, we talk about California being the fifth largest economy of the world. And we, we know that, we hear it often. And as we know, a quarter of California's economic output is created right along this 101 highway corridor. Uh, but the, the part that, that is not mentioned in that and what this improvement will do is we have the economic growth and the, the stability and the vitality, but what we've lost and what our residents have lost is the quality of their life. That's what this will do. SB1 provides $255 million of the $567 million for this project. That's money well spent. To put it in perspective, this quarter carries nearly 2 million vehicles a week. And once this project is completed a few years, just a few years from now, we'll be able to rely on this highway to get to their destinations more quickly. CCAG and Transportation Authority, by working together, we've created what I would consider to be an incredible partnership on being able to manage this, uh, this project, both in its construction phase and then later in the implementation. We will, of course, deal with equity issues uh, during this process, make sure that uh, there's equity for, for our residents. But I think this is really an exciting day, and it's a remarkable day that we've been able to work so effectively with our state partners and with both CCAG and uh, Transportation Authority, and I'm just delighted to be here today. Thank you. During the last year, our work has been dominated by one enormous issue, the 101 Managed Lanes Project. It's hard to believe, but it was seven years ago that CCAG began studying solutions for traffic relief along the 101 corridor, that golden pathway that extends from techie chic San Francisco to the world famous hub of innovation, Silicon Valley. And that's how the Express Lanes Project slipped into CCAG's orbit operating in relative obscurity before roaring to the forefront six years later. The third phase, which we are breaking ground on today, although a good 20 miles south of here, will convert an existing carpool to carpool connector at State Route 85 and US 101 in Mountain View to express lanes, continuing north on US 101 to the San Mateo County line. Moving more people with fewer vehicles, that is the overarching goal of these facilities and our takeaway today. But SAMCETA has been around for seven decades, championing the business community, the private sector. And without our partners in the private sector, and especially Google and Facebook, this project would not move forward. They have contributed over 50 million, and let me repeat that, 50 million to this project. Google and Facebook, thank you. One, two, three.